Time now for Travel Talk. Welcome back, Utah. Travel Talk is our segment where we give you an update on the road work and travel conditions happening all over the state. John Gleason from Utah is joining me this morning. John, so good to have you kind of back in studio. <laughs> I know it's not the same, but it's great <laughs> to see you again, yeah. at least uh, over the Zoom here. Definitely, we miss you. Okay, we're going to talk about I 15 in a couple of spots. Can we start with I 15 in Salt Lake? Yeah, a lot of work happening on I-15, Sarah. Um, the weekend, this pl the plan for the weekend is uh, overnight lane closures on southbound I-15 in Salt Lake City. Southbound I-15 is going to be down to just one lane both Friday and Saturday night. And then this is what we really want people to focus on. Sunday, it's going to be down to one lane all day long between 500 South and 2100 South. So if you're planning any travel, we are asking people to plan, plan ahead for those delays and maybe consider an alternate route. We have crews out there repaving um, and repairing some of the, uh, the concrete out there in several areas along this section. Okay, so if you're headed anywhere for Father's Day, give yourself another like good 25, 30 minutes to get there. Yes, exactly. But we'll get the road repaired. We'll get it all in top shape and, and ready to go. Okay, good to know. And then I-15 down in Jueb County, you're doing something too. Yeah, down in Juab County, we're paving about an eight-mile stretch of I-15 between Yuba Lake and Scipio. This is one of our top 10 projects, Sarah, and it's a project that's using a unique construction method. It's called crack and seat. And what happens is there's a big machine that comes in and uh, drops a heavy metal blade on the pavement that creates a deep crack, and uh, then we roller uh, compact the, uh, the cracked pavement together, and it really makes a more durable subsurface there and then put the uh, pavement over the top there and so we're going to be doing this uh, all summer long and and uh, I-15 down in Juab County southbound is going to be down to just one lane uh, today and and this weekend as well so we could see up to 30 minute delays the time of day to avoid driving down there Sarah is about 1 to 5 or 6 p.m. if you can avoid and plan travel around that time going southbound to Las Vegas or, or St. George, you'll, you'll do yourself a favor there. Got it. Okay, that's good to know. So get an early start if you're headed down south for Yuba Lake or anything like that tomorrow. That's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, I mean, I think a lot of people are utilizing our outdoors. Lots of us are driving and doing road trips because that's one of the only options available to us <laughs> during the summertime, you know what I mean, because of coronavirus restrictions. So what do you recommend for summer travel? This can be a really dangerous time of year to drive. Well, it can if, if people if people are, are not focused on the road or focused on everything else that's going on, um, you know, that, that can be a dangerous situation. But, Sarah, we're seeing traffic volumes now back up to 80, 90 percent of what they generally are. So a lot of people are heading out um, on the road and to destinations all across the state. And so when you're planning a trip, it's a good idea to make sure that you, you check your tires, your oil, your wiper blades, your battery, just make sure that you're ready to, to uh, go and that your, uh, your vehicle's in, in good condition. We also recommend that you prepare an emergency kit and just keep it in your car along with extra water, but just really first and foremost, stay focused on the road and, and stay focused on, on uh, everything that, uh, that you're doing behind the wheel. John Gleason, it was really good to see you again. Thanks so much for all of those tips. Really appreciate it. Back to you, Brian. Thanks, Sarah.